Okay, so we're checking out the uh, Jason EB7 folding electric bike in this video. So we got 20 inch um, fat tires in this one, but these are 20 by 3 inch, not 20 by 4 inch, which is typically found on a lot of folding uh, fat tire e-bikes. Got uh, front and rear mechanical disc brakes. We have a 48 volt, 10 amp hour battery inside the frame there, and that is removable. You can charge it inside or outside the frame. Has a small key at the bottom to lock the battery inside the frame and also to turn on the battery. This one has a rear and a front suspension fork. So you got a front suspension fork and a rear suspension, uh, I guess a piston there in the back right below the seat and actually works really well even though the seat's pretty hard. Uh, there's no fenders on the front or the back on this one. Although there are mounting points for accessories here in the front and also in the back here, maybe for a rear rack, but it, you know, it's a budget e-bike. E it's under a thousand dollars. So uh, they kind of cut out some of the frills like the, the racks and the fenders and stuff like that. So it's pretty basic, but it has a lot of power. 500 watt rear hub motor. I think it goes to burst to like 850. Um, plenty of power in this one. Five levels of pedal assist. So you can ride it as a regular bike with no, uh, no motor assistance, or you could ride it with uh, pedal assistance, or you can also use the half twist throttle, which is on the right, and ride it like a motorcycle. We have a seven gear Shimano shifter and derailleur in the back. So here's a look at the derailleur. You have a derailleur guard here. When you're folding it up, putting it in a, in a car or something, that'll protect the chain. That works pretty well. You got folding pedals as well. You have uh, a front light that is turned turn on with the panel in the front on the on the handlebar. So there's a rear light here that you can ma manually turn on and run, run off a battery charged by USB. Um, so it's not connected to the main battery. You can charge it off of the main battery though, off of the um, display. There's a USB port here on the bottom that you could use to charge up that light. And this is the control buttons here. You get a horn and the light switch, your plus and minus for your pedal assist, power on and off here, and this shows you different modes. So it's going to turn on the display is not very bright. Not even sure if you'll be able to see that. It's a super sunny day. You can switch your modes by pressing the M button here. And it shows different things like max speed, average speed. Basically, this place uh, is in color, but it's not very visible in bright light. Shows you your odometer, your pedal assist level, and your current speed. So the handlebar height is adjustable, as well as the seat height, so it can go fairly high. And of course it folds down here in the middle, and over here is the jo uh, joint for the handlebar for folding the bike down. Um, and of course you have a kickstand. So putting the bike together was uh, fairly straightforward. It can, actually, the instructions in the manual were outdated. They have uh, actually made it a lot easier to put the bike together. All you have to do is put the front wheel on and tighten down the handlebar. There's two screws here under the display. You have to tighten down when you put the handlebar in. And that's pretty much it. Put the seat in, of course, um, and screw the pedals on. So that was it. Was, it really it didn't take very long at all. Probably about. Uh, 20 minutes to assemble the bike um, and about, actually about 15 minutes to take all the zip ties off. Uh, so it was a fairly easy bike to put together. The rest of the stuff that comes in the box includes the headlight and tail lights, the charger, tools, and the manual. The charger is a 54.6 volt 2 amp charger and it takes about 5 to 6 hours to fully charge the battery. This model weighs a lot less than similar ones in this class at 59 pounds. Some of the other models that include extras like fenders and rear racks can weigh as much as 75 to 80 pounds. This lower weight does make it easier to handle, fold and unfold, and generally less of a struggle to get into and out of the car. The lower weight also improves the range compared to a heavier bike. The range is advertised from 20 to 40 miles, and that can vary depending on how fast you ride it and how hilly the terrain is. I got roughly 25 miles of range on hilly terrain, riding mostly in the faster pedal assist levels 3 and 4. If you ride the bike slower or on flat terrain, you can get more range. 
the bike can go up to 25 miles per hour in pedal assist level 5, and on a level surface, the bike was very stable. However, on rough terrain, I would not recommend going over 15 miles per hour with this bike. The suspension is very good, but on very rough terrain, 15 miles per hour is about the limit I would take this model. The extra power and acceleration I felt while riding seems to be due to slightly better battery cells in the 48 volt pack and the lower overall weight. Even on long uphill stretches, the battery voltage sag wasn't that noticeable until you got down to around 25% capacity, and at that point, steep uphill incline slowed the bike down a fair amount compared to when the battery was close to full capacity. All right, so I'm just uh, riding it in pedal assist level one. It's got plenty of power in, in actually level one. I'm going I'm on this little dirt trail here. Surprisingly, with the uh, rear suspension, with the seat being this hard, it actually is comfortable. Surprisingly, I was expecting it to be not so comfortable. But uh, yeah, the suspension works really well in this kind of rough, like kind of dirt terrain. So it's kind of, I'm kind of mountain biking, but not really with a real mountain bike. But I'm um, kind of limited to my speed here with this uh, terrain. I'm going a little bit uphill, but no problems. It's got plenty of power. Actually, tons of power. Actually, I have to, I have to stop pedaling occasionally because it, uh, it's going a little bit too fast. It's going about 11, 12 miles an hour, slightly uphill. It's got way too much power. Uh, brakes work really well, no problem there. I just turn, uh, I just crank with pedals a, a few turns and then it just keeps, the momentum just keeps on going up. And it's still going uphill. So if you're worried about going uphill on this thing, even pedal assist level one, it's uh, <laughs> got no problems whatsoever, plenty of power. All right, so I'm just gonna pedal now. Um, pedal assist level zero. I am going back downhill. And I'm not pedaling at all. Oh, it's pretty windy. So this is uh, the way we came up. You see that view.
overall, I really enjoyed riding this model. The biggest factor for me is the rear suspension. Uh, even with a hard seat, the bumps were very manageable. The suspension was much better than a seat post suspension, in my opinion. I was easily able to ride for 30 minute sessions without any discomfort. Right now, the bike is on discount with a $150 off coupon, making it around $800 at this price point. I really can't think of anything uh, in this class with all these features that comes even close to this in value. If you're in the market for an e-bike, this one is definitely one worth checking out. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing for more e-bike reviews like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.